what I think it makes sense for us to do is uh, if you could share your screen and present your your startup in your pitch conduct your pitch and then we could talk about it so three minute pitch let's do it so um, hi I'm Vladimir the point is that we are the company which worked with IT solutions more than two years Last three years, we concentrate to work with blockchain solutions. We provide services for different companies which start their own ICO uh, and STO, and we provide them as SaaS product as marketing services. Uh, then regarding the problems which they met on their way and also our previous experience, we define that exists on the market a problem with remotely located counterparties, unfair portfolios, problems when you want to work with someone who is far away from you, how to believe them, how to prove their expertise, uh, how to invest in someone when you cannot uh, make appropriate due diligence on needed level to go forward. So we are looking for some solution which could be based on modern technologies and how to bring it to life. So uh, we propose a really fast technology uh, which will serve these needs. And based on this technology, we propose eliminate product, which includes social media platform, SaaS platform for security token offering and initial coin offering launch, freelance exchange uh, for specialist recruitment, uh, SaaS for launch and maintenance recognized funds, decentralized and centralized exchange, and marketplace for all kinds of products and services where uh, everyone who wanted would list their services and receive payments as in fiat, as in crypto, as in some tokens. So, more details about the problem. If you are a founder of some startup, right now in the market, it's too expensive to start your startup, not understandable how you should do it, and some roadmap. A lot of people who can provide and propose you some services, and at the end, it's some fake guys. Uh, Hard to find and hire real team members who will be really interested in working with you. Lack of communication, find a real angel investor to your startup who can speed up your process. Uh, and for sure, it's not understandable for them how, how to grow a big company. For investors, it's more understandable it's high risks and how to find the proper teams to, be, to invest in them. Um, also, hard to uh, define how you can make micro investments in some startups. For service providers, it's also hard to find clients, hard to prove their expertise, uh, experience of deals, and other problems. And for all communities, it's the big problem how to cooperate, move forward some huge ideas, how to share information, and how to become an influencer if you really um, have some good knowledge about some things. Uh, and how to fight and protect yourself from fake news. So, what Relate Facts will bring? Relate Facts will bring you an ability to prove what is a fact and what is not. It's the next step in technology line, uh, like first point was digital data, then appears hashing technology, then blockchain technology, then uh, Vitaly Buterin proposed solution with smart contracts, and we provide and propose a new point which will serve the next step of needs, and we name it the effects of the token. About our platform, why we have such kind of services? Because via these services, we can serve full cycle of all community, and we can make the full flow of money through one application in your cell phone. Only one application instead of those in websites where you work right now in your way where you make your businesses. You can see on this ham how it works. So uh, when startup um, bring some idea, uh, he will uh, create some new jobs. Uh, these new jobs will generate some money from freelance and these guys looking where they can make some micro investments. That's why a uh, solution for investment funds and uh, Taking nice funds will be interesting for uh, funds to release there because they can receive money from freelancers. Uh, money from investment funds will generate an interest from startup investors and new startups because this money will be invested in these startups by uh, investment funds. 
uh, also all these people will generate a community which will need some services, products, education, different things. And again, it brings some trustability, some advisors, which will be worked with startups, with investment funds, and interesting for freelancers, and also generate new community. That's why we decided to make these products, not something else, not more, not less. About competitors. Right now, the market exists a lot of different companies. We choose the most famous and trustable in, the, in this market. Uh, uh, it's some... Uh, uh, startup incubators, uh, exchanges, or some used websites with additional functionality, listing companies. But the question is, do they have big problems? Low-cost uh, solutions or not have a lot of functionality which will be useful for the users. From other side, uh, if uh, the company have some interesting functionality, it's high cost. For example, huge commission, or in your equities, or in just you know huge payments to be listed for example on initial exchange offering or to do something else if you talk about worldwide things like let's say freelance the biggest friends is upwork on upwork it's really expensive high commissions and uh, no one knows why uh, they should pay 10 20 percent uh, just for find someone uh, about the team uh, our team consists from uh, 23 team man members. Uh, most of them are working more than two years already, like a team which already lead and support more than 12 startups. These startups already raised 57 million altogether, and it was 13 work. And uh, this team really knows how to bring as technology things as how to create a community and how to make the startup successful. So about the founder, uh, my personal expertise started like 10 years ago, like a founder IT company. We had a long way to go. I had the knowledge in different, all kind of probably um, development languages as IT expert. From other side, I was a uh, marketing uh, advisor and marketing officer also on few uh, startups which raised this money. And we can provide you details about these founders who worked with me last years, and they can provide you some um, um, opinion about what they think and how successful was this operation. Uh, last years, we raised uh, about half million money by working on our company. Uh, 274,000 plus minus was investment invested about 300 right now uh, in the product development and community growth, and about the roadmap. Uh, till September, we'll have on the platform 30,000 users. Uh, this use right now on the beta version. Uh, then also this time we'll start our crowdfunding campaign. And next slide, you can scroll down. Uh, the point is right now on this stage to raise the million. We will raise them in two ways. We will sell equity, 6% of equity, and 6% of our token. It will be utility tokens, which we'll use to pay commissions and fees on the platform. Also, if your startup or a fund, you'll have small fee from your future tokens if you'll be successful. So it means, and it's more detailed in the business plan, how we will receive some percent from each company which will use this platform to set up their business. Anyway, right now, uh, we will sell 6% of equity by $300,000, and 6% of tokens we will send, sell in few steps, um, and it will be the point uh, to raise another $700,000. Uh, by using this money, we will be able to bring 100,000 users on the platform. Active users from them will be only 30,000, and we expect about 100 startups from which, and you, it's also described in this plan, will be about 10 successful startups. These 10 su successful startups, and next slide you can uh, scroll down, we create a math model which was um, powered by uh, AI. It generated a uh, graphic where you can see red line is our spending, green line is uh, revenue in $100,000. So the point is 
that if we reinvest, first graphic is without reinvestment, it's if we all net income is we just take and put in pocket. And second one graphic, uh, for nearest five years, it's the, it describes uh, if we re reinvest our income, uh, our spendings and income in five years each month. Next slide, it's details about our tokens and about token distribution. It will be utility token which will be used to pay fees on smart contracts, fees on our platform to pay for us, our services. Here is scroll down business model. Here you can find later after the pitch more details about what kind of commissions we will take on one kind of the platform and what, how much it's from for business plan, how much we will have as revenues uh, till the end of the year. Uh, here is the capitalization calculations in five years per class. Also, is based on the real details. And here is our offer that uh, by investing uh, one percent uh, for fifty thousand dollars in our shares um, in five years, uh, you will have about six million per from each fifty thousand. And if you invest in our tokens. Uh, per each 0 0.1 Ethereum you invest right now, you can expect about 10 Ethereum in five years per each 0 0.1 Ethereum on first seed round. Please contact us if you have any future questions. Thank you very much. Okay, so a lot of things here. You have a very detailed pitch, a very well designed also pitch it was very good i like the design that you used here uh, what mm -hmm. i'd like to do now is to go through through the slides and to make comments on each one of them and make questions and then we can talk a little bit about them is that okay mm -hmm. great sure. beginning with the front page the first page I really like the way that you present your brand. It's centralized, it's very dominated in the slide. And you wrote a sentence which was the 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 intention was good. One stop shop for business community based on blockchain technologies. But I think that you could uh, bring your value proposition here. Because when you bring your value proposition yeah. on the first slide, it makes an impact. On in real, the truth is, sorry, I interrupt you. In real, you already did it on the website, but the question is we not upload it on pitch deck. Right now, it means move your business activities or move your business relations to blockchain, or to, to relate facts technology powered to unbreakable uh, related facts technology powered by blockchain technology. So, like, the point is move your business activities to an, an unbreakable or an, uh, an, an, an scammable, I don't remember what exactly was written there. So, yeah. yeah. It will be better or not. Yeah. Just the, the slogan that you should move your business activities for, and then you can read by. Exactly. Yes, I like that better. You could use mm. it. You could Thank use you. that here. And mm. another thing that I that I miss here is one image. It could be a background image or it could be a slide image that would make an impact on the transformation that you're bringing to the market. Think about no. something that could represent your brand as an mm -hmm. in impact image, a picture or people that are getting together doing something that's different from what they do now, just because of using your platform. Think about something like that. Probably you can help me with that. It's, let me explain. The point is that the goal is, my goal is, that right now you have like a lot of even application your cell phone. The point is at the end, to move it in one icon where you click and all your business is there and all your life 
is there related to your reputation and you just like let's say it's your avatar is real reputation not the game but the game is life so life is not the game so and the point is about this that uh, if it happens uh, the only one application will be needed just for the business only one because so you can make everything there and it will be only up to you what kind of part of service you will use. You'll be like a worker or entrepreneur or funds manager or you'll sell some products or you'll provide some um, services. That's it. Nothing else exists in the world. Just the question is about real work, but if you talk about some online uh, type of work, everything could be in one application. And even if you have some offline company, you can recognize it and then uh, creates a reputation of your um, business activities through the application also in one, one application. That's like what the goal is. Great, great. And you could represent all this goal with an image, an impacting image right in but the first But what kind slide. of image it could be? <laughs> it is not easy to find a good image, but I think it would bring more impact to your presentation right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably designers should to think about how to present. Great. Mm -hmm. And then you bring your the Illuminate's product. Mm -hmm. I I would prefer to see the market problem before, and talking about the story of your avatars, of your personas. Exactly what you just mentioned, start with that because and also add a persona behind it. So you can talk about John, which is a founder that has no clear plan on how to move forward. And then, you know, tell the story of one person, personalize your, your story because it makes more, uh, it brings to the life your pitch and it makes more impacting for the investor one second we will write <laughs> it's anton hi hi anton is responsible for uh, let's say business analysts great so Two seconds we'll, we'll create a file also because i'm talking to you and the anton will point make points on what we should update. Great. So, mm -hmm. when you start with the story of your persona, you contextualize all your company, all the, the solution that you're going to bring and present. So, you start with the problem, talk about all the personas, talk about them, John, which is a founder, talk about Mark, who is an investor, talk about Jenny, that's a service provider, and talk about uh, Mary, Paul, and I don't know, which is a member of black blockchain community that has these uh, problems and everybody mm -hmm. in the same story. And then the next step is how all those people will have their problem solved. So this is, this is uh, a very good way to present the problem with the solution. Because when you present the problem before through a story, it's much more effective. It brings connection with the audience which are the investors that you're looking for mm -hmm. and it's easy to um, to explain what you're gonna do so like john john right now have problem as a founder with this this and this and this and at the end of the pitch right now john is happy because he can do this this and this exactly and mm -hmm. then all those people, they, they could have their problem solved because we are bringing a solution to the market which is a single platform where people would have access to this, this and this. Mm -hmm. so Got it. 
<clears throat> and then the flow of the presentation is, would be easier to understand and it would be more impactful. Mm -hmm. Because everyone will be able to find himself in some avatar. Exactly. Exactly. And then you talk about the solution. When you talk about the solution, you use terms that are that are somehow complex because of the technology that are that are that are there. It, it, it is complex. But you need to find a way to explain it using analogies. If you're using analogy to explain what you do, it's much much easier to understand and it makes the solution be on the mind of your audience because they will easy connect with topics that are very known. So when you use analogy, you bring context that are easy to understand and compare with your complex solution. So let's go back to the presentation as a whole. You have a front page with an image and with a, your value proposition. It's impactful. It talks. It it talk directly with your audience, and it also uh, make an emotional connection with the investor. Then you talk about the pro the problems of your avatars, your personas, and then you talk about the solution using analogies to make it simple and easier to understand. Mm -hmm. So data interconnection stored in the blockchain, it's not something what is easy to understand. <laughs> yeah. I see. And then you talk about uh, the community flow. Uh, community attraction flow I think it, it is it is included it could be included in the story you know because it's John purchase George uh, create startup markets freelancer work with John then mark your money and give it to Peter who is owner of investment fund and Peter then uh, by, a, by by invest this money in different in startup incubators which will hire service providers stores and create uh, education for John and Peter and Mark, so I see. Exactly, exactly. Could you compare your presentation with these uh, suggestions that I'm giving to you? Could you see the difference in impact yeah, sure. that it could cause? Yeah. Okay. Great. Sure. Great. It's important, thank you very much. Yeah. And what about how to present competitors better? Competitors. Uh, I like the way that you presented. What I like, I like to see your company compared with the other competitors that are in the market. So it means, for example, with Upwork, Facebook, Telegram, because it's also our competitors in some way in the future. Yeah. But from old world. Yeah. Uh, it should be here. Or it should be in another way, uh, on another diagram, second slide, for example. What I, what I would suggest you to do, instead of using only uh, four quadrants and two, mm -hmm. two main variables, you could use a spider graph here. Do you know a spider? Yeah, sure. Because you could add more variables or more functionalities instead of only have high functionality and low you could add all the functionalities and cost would be one variable and then you can position your company in uh, and with the competitors in a spider graph so <clears throat> i would have more comments on the other aspects but just because we are running out of time, just let me talk about one thing that I miss here, which is very, very important. I miss the market size. And uh, what the size of the market that you're going to reach, 
what your uh, total addressable market and what would be your market share in one year from now uh -huh. that uh, would so that would uh, just give us the idea of how many people are like John, Mary, Paul, Peter, you know? So the point is in the answer is that the first market is crypto market, but the goal of the startup is to provide all crypto benefits for everyone in the world who right now use like all these things, uh, but separated, so like Facebook. But the question is that our technology is like a point how to hide when you put talking with me via like my cell phone or mobile phone you never think about about gps solution yeah but behind this this is gps and a lot of you know uh, other things we just know that here is cell phone i can talk by cell phone so the same here our technology will restore this need how to bring all blockchain benefits for everyone who even have no understanding about how it works okay so the point is about that you know we have two types of markets. First market is for all those people who have understanding of what it's about and they can define why it's better than what they have in the market right now. But for, after them, the second way will be regarding that we have already enough users to go forward and explain of details why partners, because technology will allow us to join for the huge it's like database of net because it's network it's not about network but not like social network but like data network to join to this data network and have partners from real world which not use blockchain technology right now but by technology they will receive all benefits from blockchain solutions inside their product because probably someday the app work will decide to work with us and use this type of database and are their current one and then it means all uh, data from upward will be joined to the global data in this uh, really fast uh, methodology. Yeah, I understand. And what you should think is that you have uh, a broad product that you solve solution of a lot of avatars and it could be and it could and it will be expanded going forward. So when you're presenting the market size, you need to to think on your roadmap. So your market size should start with your first wave focus and then you can also present the next waves going forward. But not in the market side slide at first. I would include it on your projections of revenue. When you are going, when you're, you're growing your market you can use it there. In our business plan, we use it, but in Pitch Deck, it's not there. So I right now think we much understand what the X will be here because I know it's an important question about like market size. You expect 5,000 users, but are you sure it's how much? 100% of market is unreal. Yeah. But in real, it's less than 1% of market, 100,000 users. So 100% will not have this problem on this thing. It's from crypto market. Yeah. Because right now in the world, uh, like official statistics, that active users is about 200 million users. And we're talking about 100,000 of first stage. Yeah. It's one thing that's keep in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. I, I like the way that you included your team on the, the slides. I think if you could add pictures would be good. And yeah, you should know that was there, but then uh, someone from the team said that it's too much. <laughs> no, it's good to have pictures to personalize who are there. We can make group photo. We have group photo. These are uh, T-shirts, uh, like illuminates stickers. Mm, I prefer individual photos. Or you could use group photos but pointing people there but i think it would be confused because you're, you you will want to present what they have special what they what what are their specialty why mm -hmm. why should i invest in your company with these people so they need mm -hmm. to be special they need to bring results they need to 
to really be important for for the company so you in the slide that you present your team you should include picture you should include the characteristics and also the results so I like that you mention here results of your own uh, results but you can also add the the key persons the key person the key team you know the key mm -hmm. people there C level at least like uh, chef CTO yeah uh, lead watching developer lead um, yeah. someone else backend developer let's say uh, lead yeah C levels I think it would be good mm -hmm. I would have uh, a lot of a lot of suggestions to make more going forward but uh, we are running out of time here one hour of uh, meeting already so mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you believe that uh, it would help it it helped you these tips and suggestions I think it would be uh, one uh, one small contribution that I could bring to your company uh, right now as I, as I mentioned before I I'm angel investor so I try to analyze the pitches as a pitch to invest so I need to understand I need to to be clear to have clear in my mind what the product is what is the market what are the results and also mm -hmm. I play as a startup mentor and uh, specialized on pitch decks so I you could taste a little bit about what I do so I go slide by slide talking and saying what you could improve on your pitch in order to make a better impact to the investor and to increase your chance to get the investments uh, as I mentioned before, because I have experience with a lot of big companies and multinational companies talking to C-levels and make presentations to them, I, I was responsible for leading projects of more than 1 million reais. I have identified more than $100 million in revenue improvement opportunities for the companies that I worked with, more than 30, 30 companies in total. So, uh, if you believe it makes sense for for having a mentor at the stage that you are, we could schedule another session just to talk about how to get into the problem, to the program, if you believe it makes sense. Uh, Can you send me um, quotes? I mean, like, uh, what will be the price, let's say? for this process uh, yes. or what, what what will be like our uh, investment in this process yeah before from our side? before the, the the investment there is a small selection because I couldn't help every startup that I talked to so before uh, being able to to invest you need to enter in the, the being eligible to be part of the program of the, the, mm -hmm. the mentorship uh, if you believe it makes sense if you believe I contribute to you if you if you need this help uh, we can schedule and then I talk about how you how you you could get into the program I talk about the investment that you you need to to have but uh, just to make if it makes sense for you if you want to to go deeper on your pitch deck on your slides and if it makes sense to you do you believe let's start from this point from today i hope in day or two we'll bring we'll be back with results and updates uh, also we'll share additional information and then you check it again and if we'll define that uh, we can work together uh, I think it will be the point where we should discuss the opportunities, uh, details of the deal, and then probably you also could define how good and useful it could be for you. Yeah, I will. Okay, I will send you uh, a list of questions that are required for you to join the mentorship. 
I, I can send you to through email and mm -hmm. then what I like to do is after you have prepared with the answers of those questions also have a new version of the pitch deck based on the suggestions that I have already gave to you and then it's part of the analysis to see if the entrepreneurs have already absorbed the information if they were able to work on it and to make it happen and and then we can schedule another one just to talk about it 100% uh, clear understandable so thank you very much I think um, uh, today's Wednesday let's set up it on Friday what do you think about it Last month is the same time as today, if it's comfortable for you. Uh, I think I need to check my, my, my agenda, but I would have only time available next week, probably the end of next week. I hope so, as soon as possible, because we'll do it within nearest 24 hours, plus minus. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, Thank you very much once again. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, and I hope you have a chance to find some time before next week. Okay. So. Thank you. I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good evening. Have a good day. You bye -bye. too. Bye bye. Thank you. All right.